Hello, what we're going to look at now is the rad clamp radiator removal systems. For those of you that don't know, the rad clamp system is designed to take your radiator off the wall without draining any water out of the radiator or out of the system. Now from time to time a radiator needs taking off the wall and some of the reasons are for instance uh, wallpapering um, behind the radiator, uh, decorating behind the radiator, painting behind the radiator, tiling behind the radiator, fixing the brackets behind the radiator or fitting reflective foil to the wall behind the radiator to reflect the heat back into the room which will save you um, which will save you money. Uh, the other advantages um, of taking the radiator off the water inside are you have uh, central heating additives inhibitors in central heating systems which is actually inside the radiator protecting the inside of the system. Now if you take the radiator off and empty it you're throwing the inhibitors and the water down the drain which you don't want to be doing. Um, also when you refit the radiator you've got the water inside and it can be quickly reconnected with the water still inside it reintroducing it back into the system so there's in fact no refilling of the system necessary either. So we've got two, two types of kits we've got the Rad Kit Pro which is this one here so I'll just show you in, quickly show you inside what you get. You get in the case you get a full set of floating instructions with handy hints and it tells you exactly how to go through the process of taking your radiator off in there. There's a quick set of instructions which are permanently stuck in the back of the lid here so once you've, once you've um, managed to lose the floating instructions you've always got them but once you've actually done it you won't need the instructions again anyway. You get two rad clamps, one for each side of course, two rad clamps, um, a couple of sealing forks which are the seals which actually hold the water inside the radiator, two of them and underneath here there's two spare seals, you get two spare seals as well in the rad kit pro. And on top of that the reason why you get the extras in here is you get the rad wrench, the all important rad wrench, solid hard plastic, virtually indestructible and what that does is hold the valve steady while you're trying to undo the nut in between the valve and the radiator. Sometimes they can be really tight and that's guaranteed not to damage your valve and it gets a really really good grip. The other thing you get is a purpose made rad spanner. 5 mil thick, um, extra length for long leverage and this is this actually fits radiator valves, all radiator valves, so you'll need the one spanner there. So that all comes in a nice, a nice tidy um, plastic case. And you also get a, a nice decent brass uh, bleed uh, air vent key with that as well. So that's the Radkit Pro. Now the next stage down from that is the Radkit Basic, which again is in a nice uh, carry case. You get floating instructions in this as well same quick set of instructions in the back on the lid now what you get in here is all of the previous except you don't get the rad wrench and the rad spanner in it. that's the only difference you get everything else, you get the two forks, two clamps two guide rods and a spare set of seals so that's it, the rad kit basic and the rad kit pro so I would recommend strongly whether you um, use the rad kit, uh, the rad clamp system um, that you take the radiator off anyway. Um, so these these two here you can see are actually fitted, the two rad clamps are fitted to this radiator here. So what you do is you just clamp them on like that and take the take the radiator off. Stand that to one side, ready, so you carry out your work. And as you can see there, you take your radiator off, you can do a nice tidy job, it's actually easier you can paper down to the skirting board or paint it or whatever you can actually get behind, make it all nice and clean fit the reflective foil, that will reflect uh, the heat back into the room which will probably save about 5-10% of your radiator's output anyway so you can either do it that way or if you choose to um, leave the radiator on and try and poke around it and put bits around it this is what you'll end up with behind your radius which you can't see of course it will end up like that, dust, all wallpaper, all paint, insects, there's all kinds of stuff behind the radiator so strongly recommend, strong, strongly recommend that you take the radiator off before you do any of that type of work. So it's up to you, choice between using the rag clamps, not using the rag clamps, 
uh, drain or not to drain, it's entirely up to you. But there you have it, the rod clamp system. Thanks for watching.